Hey, it's James the Weatherman here. How is everybody doing today? We're back with another video. This is update for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday for the Dakotas and east or western part of Nebraska. They should enhance risk for those areas. We will get right into it. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. If you're enjoying my videos, make sure you like. Once I get back home, I will be live streaming. I might try to live stream tomorrow. Um, I might be going out maybe later in the evening. I don't know how much we're going to be able to get due to it's going to be nighttime. But um, if I can, I'll probably get some pictures and update it and put it in Discord. So let's get into the... <clears throat> The day one convective outlook. This is on Storm Prediction Center. So we're looking at um, the enhanced risk is for Rapid City, South Dakota, Scotts Bluff, um, Nebraska, Pierce, South Dakota, Spearfish, South Dakota, Rapid Valley, South Dakota. There's an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms later this afternoon and evening for parts of Northern Plain. There's a slight risk of severe thunderstorms this afternoon across central Rockies, part of New England, and along the west coast of Florida. All that um, stuff for the southern area is for that tropical storm that's going on right now. Um, so damaging winds, large hail, and a couple tornadoes are expected this afternoon into this evening from the central Rockies to the northern plain. Damaging gusts will also be possible this afternoon in parts of New England, and a couple tornadoes may occur along the west coast of Florida. A pronounced um, mid-level shortwave trough will eject north-northeastward from Arizona to eastern Utah, western Colorado from late this morning through this afternoon. Unusual moist profiles per the observed um, from the 12z sounding it may spark up some uh, damaging winds but the main concern this afternoon is isolated large hail and an isolated tornado <clears throat> before it starts bowing out we will look at that later um, when we look into on the pivotal weather on the models so let's show <clears throat> tornado risk. Uh, it's at five percent in a good chunk of that enhanced risk. Two percent in that same area, and then you got that that risk down here in Florida from the tropical storm. Uh, wind is hatched in the areas of an enhanced risk going all the way down to Colorado. And hail is um, western part of South Dakota. We go to the day two outlook. Uh, the enhanced risk is in oops, sorry about that. The the enhanced risk is in Fargo, North Dakota, Grand Forks, North Dakota, Moorhead, Minnesota, Aberdeen, South Dakota, and West Fargo, North Dakota. So I'm in this area. Um, this is going to be a late storm. So I might be able to get out. If so, it's going to be uh, tough because I'll have to use my um, phone camera. So... We might be able to see some lightning and maybe a little bit of structure. Uh, depends how much heating is going to go on during the day and how severe it possibly could get. I, I could see a few tornadoes, um, some very large hail and damaging wind later in the evening. So There's an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms over eastern North Dakota, central to northeast South Dakota, and much of northwest Minnesota. Severe storms are expected late Sunday afternoon through evening over parts of the northern plains. With damaging winds, very large hail, and a tornado threat. A few strong storms may affect the central Gulf Coast state related to the tropical cyclone. And large upper 
trough will remain over the west with leading wave ejecting north out of North Dakota early in the day. Behind this wave, strong southwesterly winds aloft will persist ahead of the large-scale upper speed max, which will nose into the northern plains late. Height falls will occur throughout the day over the region as low pressure <laughs> forms over the central Dakotas, with deepening surface trough extending south into western Nebraska. So, tornado threat is 5% for the southern part of the enhanced risk, um, 2% for a good chunk of the enhanced risk. We go into hail. They got that at hatched area for um, Fargo, Grand Forks, Moorhead, Aberdeen, and Watertown. That is for very strong winds of 65 knots or greater within 25 miles of any point. Hail is a hatched area for most of all the enhanced risk. So that we are, uh, when we go out, we want to uh, avoid hail. So I don't think, if I go out, I don't think I'm going to go much east because then I'll have to go back west. Uh, just stay tuned for um, further updates for tomorrow. If I do plan on going out, I will update it on Discord, and I will update it on YouTube. So let's switch on over to the models. I haven't looked at the models today. This will be my first time looking at them. Let's go over to the models. I hope everybody's having a good day. Today... My question is, is what is your favorite day in the week? Mine would probably have to be Thursday. So let me know what your favorite day of the week is. Let's go <clears throat> to reflectivity. Um, let's make sure we have the updated model. Okay. So we got this area that's in um, eastern Wyoming that's approaching the South Dakota-Wyoming border that we need to keep an eye on. I go to the update three hours into the update. It pushes into southern North Dakota and central part of South Dakota. Let's look at a sounding real quick. Uh, the sounding is capped. Holograph is usually a holograph. It'd be better off when it's down here and that, like I said um, in past videos, that blue line is a general thunderstorm. We'll look at a uh, supercell uh, composite and we'll look at significant tornado in a little bit so today tonight you may see some uh, thunderstorms up in the North Dakota Minnesota border I don't think those are gonna be too severe maybe some wind um, I see later Um, this would be Sunday. I see in this potential area right here is where they will start to get severe for day two. Um, Sunday night, you could see this line of areas of storm storms. Um, I think these northern storms are going to be pretty <clears throat> isolated. So... If anything is enough to enough energy, I think it could produce um, some very large hail and an isolated tornado. This down here would likely be uh, mostly damaging winds. So in this area, you can see some isolated storms. Uh, we'll keep an eye on those. In the southern part of North Dakota, 
we have a chance for some severe storms as well. Let's look at Supercell <clears throat> So this is uh, approximately tomorrow at about 7 going into 7 p.m. We have some supercells that are in the Devil's Lake region that we need to we'll be keeping an eye on. Um, this potential hazard is showing a PDS tornado. If tomorrow, if I look at the models again and it's showing further, um, showing photographs that are favorable for a PDS tornado, I will likely go live um, either in the car or um, or at home. So that could be a brief, brief uh, timing. It could not be lasting all night. It would not surprise me if uh, the once they're moving northeast, if there probably will be a tornado watch issued for um, North Dakota. So we got to be aware of that. So if you're in North Dakota. Um, and South Dakota today. Um, stay weather aware because these could be very strong storms. And we will uh, for sure keep you updated. I will, um, if I do get out tomorrow, I will make sure that I uh, will either go live on my phone or um, take video. Very large hail is potential, and that's something that um, will stop me from going out because I will be using a regular car, and um, I'm not like uh, bigger storm chasers that doesn't mind if my windshield gets broken out. I uh, I care for the car that I'm going in. So I'm not going to risk risk getting into a hail core, two inch hail core. So that that is all the things I'm looking at. I would like to get structures in the um, cloud, maybe some lightning, some positive uh, cloud to ground lightning, and hopefully I can. If I go, my checking my area. Tomorrow I will look more, but if I go west, uh, past maybe, Lar in between Grand Forks and probably the, uh, closer to the Air Force Base, maybe a little bit past it, uh, you guys can look at the map, but I am thinking maybe those areas, uh, maybe catch a real quick wall cloud, a spin up. But like I said, if hail, if I see hail that's on the radar, a hail core, I'm headed back home and we're getting in the garage. Because I don't want to chance that. But if you're in these areas, stay weather aware. I might do another updated video either tonight or tomorrow. Um, if things look... Like, they might get pretty bad. But there may be a couple um, storms that get strong if they become isolated. And they say to the potential that the model is showing. Then, um, then I might go out and check them out. So, I am on my laptop. I am not on my original streaming computer. Um, so... I tried to go live on my laptop a couple days ago, and it kind of messed up a little bit. So, we might try to go live on my laptop or my phone, and we'll see how that works out. 
I hope everybody has a wonderful Saturday. If it's nice out and there's no weather by, hope you guys get out and maybe have a barbecue or um, take a nice walk. Um, but I want you guys to make sure you guys stay weather aware. And I hope you guys have a wonderful Saturday. Thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. I am James the Weatherman. Stay weather aware.